Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I have the white elbling. Well, what does elbling mean? Alba in Latin means white. So this is basically the white, white grape if you want. So and this grape actually, this is a very fitting place for it to grow in this wine yard, which is well over a thousand years old. But this wine yard grows in an area where the Romans have been growing wine for over 2000 years. There was a big Roman highway here, uh, right at the base of the hills and several Roman um, villae or big farms, big estates around here. So most probably the Romans introduced the stuff to this area about 2000 years ago. I don't know if it has been grown in this wine yard a thousand years ago, but it would be possible. And yeah, this was actually, I think it was the dominant uh, grape wine in Germany until about 300 years ago. Well, it's called Elbling because the, the berries are covered with a very obvious uh, white stuff. I don't even know what it is. But the white elbling is not the only version, it's not the only variety of the elbling. From now on it gets a little bit more complicated. Because some elbling actually has nothing to do with all the other elblings. It doesn't even really look so much like them. Well, let's see if we manage to find them all. Here is the red elbling which is just a mutation of the white one. At some time, somebody found in his wine yard an elbling, wine, uh, an elbling grape wine with reddish berries and preserved it. And actually, it's, um, they make white wine out of it. By the way, one reason why the elbling was so popular in older times is because you had to pay the tithe or 10% of your production to your uh, to, the, to your lord, to the church, to the king. And so you had to give away one tenth of all the wine you produced. And this Elbling actually produced so much wine that, um, yeah, people preferred to give this wine as taxes to their lords. Because, well, if you have a grape wine that produces a lot of wine usually the quality is not the best and yeah the the guy who uh, cultivates the grapes here said yeah it's it's good stuff but it's not one of it's not a grape wine uh, you can use to make great wines uh, the red one as far as i remember is being used as a base for champagne but yeah Basically, the lords in older times, they were not really happy when they got Elbling wine as a tide. They wanted some stronger and tastier and, uh, yeah, better wine. But, yeah, people would grow this Elbling not so much for themselves, but for their lords. So it seems that the farmers were drinking better wine than the princes. Let's go to the third Elbling. Okay, the red one is a mutation of the white one, but what about this blue one? Look at it. I mean, it looks a little bit like a blue version of the white one. It has those very white, this very white cover on the berries. But actually, it has nothing to do with the white and the red elbling. It's a hybrid of the Trollinger over there. Here in two ancient 100-year-old Trollinger uh, grape wines. It's a hybrid of the Trollinger and the Riesling. The Riesling is a white wine and the result looks a lot like Trollinger. Actually the the wine grower here had to look at each grape twice to tell me for sure which one is Trollinger and which one is Blue Elbling because he's growing them. He's growing a lot of different varieties in his wine yard and so he has to check each single grape wine for the grapes. So here again, the three Elbling, the three white, <laughs> white grapes. The white Elbling, introduced by the Romans and used to pay taxes to the lords, which 
didn't like it so who didn't like it so much the red elbling which is a mutation of the white elbling and the blue elbling which has nothing to do with the other elblings but it's a hybrid of trolling and riesling now let's taste them let's see I, i'm very curious about similar stuff which has different color if it tastes the same or different and so the blue elbling yeah nice and sweet <clears throat> also especially the skin a little bit tart and peppery the white elbling mm -hmm. a little bit more sour yeah i can imagine that this won't make the strongest wine mm -hmm. the red elbling pretty strange has a really mild taste mm -hmm. Yeah, they taste different. The blue one pretty sweet, the green one pretty sour, and the red one pretty mild. Yeah, if I had to eat them, <clears throat> yeah, I would prefer the blue one, but still they are very similar. So the taste differences are just very small. So folks, this was some 2000 year old and some less old grape varieties which share a name. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.